So hello guys, what Power BI update feature did you like most of what was released in 2019? Hmm. I'm going to go through the updates they've made, tell you which ones are my favorite and let me know on the comment box which one is your favorite so we can crown a future update for 2019. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so before we actually go through the report and see what updates they made in 2019, I actually got this idea from Sunny. He said, hello, Ruth. Um, if you were, think, I mean, if you could think about all the updates that the Power BI team has released in 2019, which one comes to mind that made you do things differently? Kind of. So for me, of all the part of all the updates, read through to report is the one that actually made me create my Power BI reports differently. It's working with uh, the cloud, obviously, when I'm working with report server, there's no read through to report, so nothing there. Otherwise, that that's it. I mean, uh, it, it just allows me to to have my reports even more focused than before. Before I had to put things in there just because I need them to give context. Now they can actually drill to another report to get that context and then go back. So the, the reports are super focused. That is the main difference for me. So I'm curious to know what, what update made you do things differently in Power BI. Let me know in the comment box. With that said, let's go to... Um, my Power BI report with all the updates. So we're going to go, no, we're not going to go through all of them, don't worry. But we're going to get an overview of the updates they've made. I'll tell you what my favorites are. And uh, hopefully you tell me yours on the comment box. Okay, so here's the thing. Power BI, 2019, 173 updates on the blog. This, these are the updates that they list on, you know, the monthly update blog, okay? So 56 of those come from partners, 117 come from Power BI team. So the team has released 117 updates, which is a lot. When it comes to partners, I, th I saw that it was quite interesting. You can see here that it's 56 updates that they decide to highlight on the blog. And most of them is data connectivity. So we go in there. I've grouped these a little bit more than the grouping that they have, so, so I can actually, you know, you can see the difference better, you can categorize it, in, you know, at least in my mind, better. So data connectivity is where the Power BI team has decided to highlight most. When it comes to custom visuals, that was quite interesting, actually. They highlight custom visuals up to April, and then they stop. At least that's what the data says. So that's quite interesting anyhow. And then they release template apps and they've been highlighting templates apps instead. Why? I don't know. But it was an interesting find anyhow. So if we go to what the Power BI team has been up to, you can see that I've grouped things. So data transformations, which you see here, is basically all the Power Query stuff. So how to transform data easily. And then we have modeling and analytics and then we have other which includes templates apps and user experience this is when they create a new ribbon and then we have all the visualization stuff okay so visualization stuff is what they've been working most at and what i wish for them to continue in 2020 because there is a lot of work to be done those are my favorite updates for sure because they are needed, <laughs> okay? So, but the for me, my favorite update of all, all, all is the web connector. I think they've made a fantastic job with that connector. I've been able to get data in seconds that before it took me hours. So it is a wonderful update. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. It's just wonderful. And then I have a list, I have uh, the modeling tab stuff that makes it easier to work in Power BI. Again, that, those are 
uh, updates are needed, like all the visualization updates, they have to be there. So those are, for me, the most important. But you can see here that they have a higher volume of updates in the beginning of the year, and then at the end of the year, they go down. Maybe the releases are bigger at the end of the year. I have no idea. Or maybe this is because Microsoft close is in June and they get things done before they close the year. No idea. But there are more updates in the beginning of the year than at the end of the year. If you want to think about what updates they've released in 2019 and you want to let me know in the comment box, all of us know in the comment box, which ones are is your favorite. So you can just go in here and you say, okay, first let me, let me look at the reporting features. And then you can check them out here. You can see all the updates they have on the different types and topics. Okay. So I'm really curious to know which one is your favorite, actually. So if you find the time or if you just remember it by in your head, just type it in the comments so we know which one is your favorite. But again, for me, it's got to be the web connector and then all these things that make Power BI easier to work with. And there is the modeling tab. You have the, um, the visual changes. And for 2020, I have a wish list too. And these are things that have to be fixed in order to be able to work easier in Power BI. And the number one is the DAX editor. It's horrible. It's horrible. It, it, just working with the DAX editor is just so hard. And the fact that we cannot copy measures still after four or five years of development is, is mind blowing. So <laughs> copy measures, fix the DAX editor for sure. And then it will have to be Power Query, the M intelligence editor. Because, you know, when you are tabbing things, the, 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 the functions disappear. There is no parentheses before actually, you know, in DAX, you do type the function and you get the open parentheses. And in some places in M, you, you, if you are in your advanced editor, you get both parentheses. If you are on the add column one, you get no parentheses. And it is just not consistent. It, it needs some work actually to, to actually make it super easy to work. Um, and then, visualizations, continue adding conditional formatting, all, all this stuff that makes Power BI easy to work with. So you, you can actually put out reports faster and easier. For, uh, some of the things, for example, the DAX editor, it just makes it so hard. <laughs> so it shouldn't be that hard at all. So that would be my wish for 2019. Better DAX editor, better um, editor and there is probably I think I have in my mind that I had another one that it was for visualizations but I don't remember it now so I'll let you know in the comment box if I remember by the end so let me know which one was your favorite of 2019 what do you want for 2020 and I'll see you again 2020 until then enjoy your holidays if you have holidays happy new year if it's a happy new year for you and I'll see you soon bye bye